Welcome to Riot Startup Spotlight, where we shine a light on the visionaries and disruptors who are shaping the future. I'm Jen Morgan, and today we bring you an exclusive interview with Dr. Victoria Fritz, founder and CEO of Baby Bumps. Hi, Dr. Fritz. To begin, can you tell us a little bit about your company? Yeah, sure. So I started baby bumps through my own personal journey coming to surrogacy. So I was a doctor working in cardiothoracic surgery when I was diagnosed with type one diabetes. And that's the type of diabetes that usually children get. It's uh, very severe. You have to be on insulin to live. And so the diagnosis was of course, very shocking. And I continued practicing and operating for a while and then decided that for the safety of my patients and the safety of myself, it was best for me to take a step back from surgery. And then I started thinking about, you know, starting a family with my husband. And I realized that it's dangerous to be pregnant with type one diabetes. So we made the decision to have a surrogate carry our embryo. Um, and during that process, I realized it's actually very difficult and confusing when you're looking for a surrogate. So you have two options. One can be that you go to an agency and you pay them about $50,000 and you get on a wait list that's about a year or a year and a half long. And then they'll get back to you after that year or year and a half with a potential match as a surrogate. Or your other option is Facebook. So you go to social media and you find somebody uh, through a Facebook page and there's a lot of risk involved with that. But of course there's cost savings and I didn't like either of those options. So I decided to start Baby Bumps which is a surrogacy matchmaking platform. And we focus on making surrogacy matching ethical, transparent, and autonomous. So patient, so parents and surrogates have a lot of peace of mind and autonomy and independence when they're choosing a match. That's really interesting. Um, you talked a little bit about like what inspired you to start your own company, but really like why the entrepreneur were taking this on yourself. Well, I was looking for something similar and I realized it really just didn't exist in the market. And I knew there was a lot of parents or parents to be like myself that felt that they were having a hard time finding a surrogate or a match um, while, you know, having their own choice involved and having a faster, speedier match that's less expensive to them. And my husband was already involved in startups. So the idea kind of came to me pretty naturally. That's interesting. Um, and you talked a little bit about your background, but really how does that previous experience influence what you're working on today? Um, how did that shape this company? Well, when I was a doctor, of course, I learned a lot about medicine. So it's nice to have the medical background. So if people are coming for you know, specific medical needs to surrogacy, I can understand that. I wasn't an OB, but I understand the basics of medical need for surrogacy. And I can understand some of the medical requirements and logistics involved with finding a surrogate and finding a match. And then being an intended mother myself through surrogacy, I have a lot of empathy for everyone going through the process. And I have a lot of respect and admiration for the surrogates who are willing to do this. Yes, me too. That is definitely um, a big challenge to take on and a great responsibility. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I Some surrogates have told me it's kind of like extreme babysitting. And I would say that a surrogate is your for your child's first and arguably most important babysitter. Um, you trust them with a lot, and they take a you know take on a big sacrifice and risk to be able to do this for another person, and it's such a great gift. Absolutely. Um, in terms of your company, what are some of the biggest challenges that you've encountered so far as a startup founder, and how did you overcome them if if you have at this point? So one of the challenges that we're facing is uh, finding surrogates. Um, I think the idea of surrogacy is still kind of new and um, confusing to a lot of people. So I think a lot of people see surrogacy as something that's for celebrities and the ultra wealthy. And that's not really the case. The surrogacy is actually for people who have a medical need for surrogacy or gay male couples that are looking to have a child. Um, and so really the reality of surrogacy is very different than the public perception that we see in the media. And so I think with more awareness of kind of what the realities of surrogacy is, that it's more of a medical need um, rather than a social need that people may be more attractive to take part in it. Um, I'm very fortunate that I'm based in North Carolina and North Carolina is one of the largest states for surrogates. 
um, which is wonderful to be so close to so many wonderful surrogates. So that's definitely something that has helped out a lot. That's awesome and definitely a needed thing. Um, talking about, you know, getting to where you are, transitioning fields a little bit, do you have any mentors or role models who have inspired you um, while you've been building your business? Absolutely. I have so many that I feel like I won't even be able to name them all, but the Riot team has been incredible. They've given me so many pointers and tips and answered so many questions about direction to go and important information to think about when building a startup. Um, so Tom and Rachel have been amazing in that process. Uh, Jimmy Melton has also been a wonderful mentor in the early stages of developing this startup. He's local in Chapel Hill and was involved in Carolina Research Ventures and has a wide breadth of knowledge on taking people from medicine to an entrepreneurial space. So he understands a lot of the thoughts and questions I may have. Um, Barbara Bell is at the University of North Carolina in the Eshelman School of Pharmacy, and she gives me amazing ideas and tips every single time I speak to her. She always has uh, experience and knowledge and marketing and building her company and working with clients. And every time I talk with her, I come out of that conversation with a million great ideas. That's awesome. Um, what advice would you give to aspiring entrepreneurs and future startup founders based on your own experiences? Uh, I would tell entrepreneurs and founders to get out and go to as many in-person networking events as you possibly can. People in the startup space are very approachable, very friendly, and they want to help each other. There's a lot of collaboration in this industry. And so I think going in person definitely is a huge benefit because you never know who you'll meet or who you're standing next to. And you can make a lot of great connections through just that in-person meeting. Um, and then besides that, building a network of founders that are in similar positions as you that have gone through similar trials and tribulations has been incredible for me. I've gotten so much good advice from my fellow founders that I don't know if I could do it without them. Sometimes it's nice just to have uh, somebody going through the trenches with you. Exactly. And somebody who's already done it and they know kind of what to tell you, or they can tell you, these are the steps I took to get over this issue. And it's great to have that help. Yeah, totally. I completely understand that feeling, but um, well, that's all the questions that we have. Thank you so much for sharing your story with us today. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Thank you. You as well. Thanks.